What is up guys, Smosh Beans here and welcome back to a new video. Now, today's video was meant to be Funcraft where I was going to build something for Lizzie, but unfortunately Windows 10 decided to update my PC while I was out and when I came back it reset all my settings on my recording software so the audio was completely gone. Instead I thought I'd just do a little video showing you what I did and show a little bit clips of me building it and my thought process and stuff like that. So basically, Lizzie came to me and she said, Joel, I want you to build me something. And I was like, Lizzie, okay, I'll build you something. And she said she kind of wanted an enchanting area. So we looked at her comments and people had suggested a few things that could be built and someone suggested a balloon. Now we already have balloons on the server. Those are the little balloons that you can collect stuff in from the chests. But I decided to go a bit fancier. Lizzie sent me this picture as I'll put on the screen now. So I decided to try and use that to design, but to make it my own at the same time. Before building those balloons, I was like, you know what? There's been quite a few new mods added to the server, so I should go check those out. So what I decided to do was I decided to get my teleport and I teleported 30,000 blocks away from spawn because there are new YouTuber lucky blocks in the server and I was like, I need to find myself some of these. So I teleported those 30,000 blocks and I randomly started flying in the direction and I crashed the server. The entire server crashed like that. And I was like, oh, right. So I tried to log back in. As soon as I logged back in, server crashed again. And this kept happening and happening and happening. So I was like, hmm. Obviously, there is something wrong here. Unfortunately, I had to have my entire character wiped. So I had all my stuff lost. Everything that was in my inventory, as you can see on the screen here, gone. So after it was reset, I had to give myself all my items back. And that's probably why if you see anything in these clips where my armor looks brand new or all my tools look brand new, then that is why. Just getting that out of the way. So we decided after that, it's just not worth it going for those usual lucky blocks because I don't want to crash again and have to refill my inventory once more. So I was like, yes, let's just get on with the balloons. So I used the picture that Lizzie gave me and I tried copying it like kind of like block for block. But at the same time, I couldn't really see what was going on in those pictures. So I had to sort of wing it quite a lot. And I was thinking, you know what? At first, we could put the enchanting table in the basket of this balloon. That'd be really cool. Lizzie could just fly up to it and she'd just be able to do her enchanting. And it would be simple. Well, no. The balloons that I built from the design, the enchanting table wouldn't have fit. They're only three by three wide in the basket. So I had to rethink my strategy. So instead of making the basket bigger and having to increase the size of the balloon so it would be just ridiculously big. I was like, you know what? Let's just put the enchanting table inside the balloon. And that's what I did. I put all the bookshelves around so she'd have the maximum enchanting that she could have. And I added a little button so that she could teleport back to the ground. But the problem is, how are you going to get inside this balloon? Obviously, we're going to need to create a teleport because she can't be breaking the blocks each time and then placing them back again each time to get in. So I was like, let's just make like a cute little building to put these teleports in. So in my head, I was like, yeah, we'll just build a little house. But I looked up at the balloons and I was like, you know what? They are quite Japanese themed, aren't they? They kind of look like a fancy Japanese lantern slash Japanese balloon. Really, really artsy and kind of like in a Japanese style. So I was like, Let's build like a small Japanese building for the teleports to go in. And I got a little bit carried away. I'm not going to lie. I started building what started off as quite a small Japanese building. Turned out to be a bit bigger than I was expecting. Not going to lie. So here you can see me building the Japanese building. I'll speed it up a little bit so you can see the process. I didn't really copy a photo for this one. I sort of just knew what Japanese building looked like, sort of Googled some images and just decided to make it myself. It's very simple. It's just like a square building with another square building on top of it with some roofs and some bits pointing out the sides. But I also decided to add some like cute, nice flower beds and stuff like that just to make it my own, you know, and I decided to do it pink, of course, because it is Lizzie and everything is pink, which is why the balloons were pink as well. I forgot to mention that the balloon bright pink. I used some pink wool, some pink carpet, some pink concrete, all of the pinks. But I thought the balloon by itself looked quite lonely and we've got this big building 
for no reason other than just to teleport Lizzie up to this one balloon. So I thought, let's add another balloon. So I copied and pasted the balloon I already had and I changed the colors on it to more of a purple color. And inside that balloon, I asked Lizzie and she said, it'd be quite cool to have like a potions room. So I got a brewing stand, put the brewing stand down and then I got myself a load of chests and some potion shelves that she could store the potions on. And then obviously I went back into the building and I made another teleport. And I labeled each teleport with a potion and of course an enchanting bottle so she knows which one is which. And I also just decorated the inside of the house as well, just as it was just looking a bit plain. And that's all I did. It took me about three hours in total to do all of that. And guess who didn't get any of the audio? This is probably going to be a 10 minute long video, but it's not. So sorry about that, guys. I hope you don't mind, but I really didn't want to waste all this progress that I made and all the footage. It's just not a big deal. So here is the final product. This is me in game now. You can see both balloons plus the building. Inside the building is the potion and the enchantment lever, of course. I also did this little pond and a little stream down to the bottom here. And these are the balloons. Very fancy indeed. I forgot to mention that inside the balloons, there's some fairy lights at the top and a chest for lapis. Plus in the other one, there are some more fairy lights, but they're shaped like witches' heads, which I thought was really cool. You know, potion themes and all that. It would be great if you could go out to Lizzie's channel and check her reaction to it and see if she likes it. Do you guys like it? Do you think it looks nice? I thought it looked really nice, but obviously that's just my opinion. You guys' opinion matters to me as well. So let me know in the comments what you think because I thought it was really cute and I'm really excited to see what Lizzie thinks of it because I did think I did quite a good job. And if not, I will destroy it slash move it out of the way for her. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and comment. Once again, I am sorry that it turned out the way it did, but I hope you liked listening to my little rambling slash story about what I did. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment, and I'll see you another time. Goodbye.